Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World Mystery. I am doing readings for this um, upcoming Libra season. That's going to be happening on the 23rd of September, I believe. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm still offering uh, five card, five card readings for five dollars and ten card readings for ten dollars until the end of Virgo season so I will put my details of where you can hit me up for those in the description box uh, if you like my content please like share or subscribe or comment below I love hearing from people um, I've been really busy lately, so I haven't been able to get to my comments. Sometimes I don't get to them right away because I'm a very busy mom of six children. But I will eventually get to them and I will respond. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm just shuffling. This reading is for Scorpio, I believe. Yeah, Scorpio. Alright, what does Scorpio need to know for this Libra season? This is a 12th house transit for you guys, so you guys might be feeling a little more introspective than usual. Maybe even a little more sleepy. Possibly a more active dream life. I just saw 211. You might want to Google that number to see what it means in either numerology or angel numbers. I don't have a preference, really. All right, I'm feeling it. Ooh, you, your guys is, you guys came out with your, with, you guys are the first card that came out. All right, let me see if I can get that stone to stay on that. Okay. Alright. And <laughs> Okay. Scorpio. So I picked the pink rose quartz for your for your uh, card here, the death card. See, it's even got the symbol for Scorpio right there. And I really like that this lady, or this death person, <laughs> this personage, is pregnant because after every death comes a rebirth, right? Um, Scorpio is the sign that personifies the phoenix rising from the ashes. You guys are ruled by Pluto and co-ruled by Mars, so you guys tend to experience a lot of transformative periods in your life, okay? And 12th house, um, house of Pisces is, Pisces is forever transforming forever, you know, so... Like, you will never meet the same person twice when it comes to Pisces. So yeah, especially if you're going through a 12th house transit, it's very transformative. Um, yeah, I'm feeling it really deep for you guys. You guys might be transforming a part of your soul or ego um, during this Libra season. You might experience a dark night of the soul, even. And then a rebirth. Um, so, yeah, just I guess um, hang tight for that. Um, remember that the dark night of the soul doesn't last forever. It's temporary and you're going to feel a lot better after you release all of those heavy emotions 
that, you know, you should not be hanging on to because they're all going to come out, right? We have the King of Wands here. And I am not going to lie, this person looks like they are ready for war. <laughs> at least this person looks very angry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, look at his face. Like, let me see if I can get it to focus on his face. Yeah. He just looks kind of ticked off. Anyway. Um, King of Wands. Wands are fire, so you could be dealing with a possible fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And it doesn't matter the gender and or the sign, but somebody that's really fiery, okay? Somebody that's very passionate. Somebody that possibly acts first and thinks about it later. Um... Kings are a little more strategical, but um, some are more more about strategy than others. This one sort of goes off of gut instinct. They, this king, even though he's a king, can still be kind of reactive in nature, um, which means he doesn't really waste time. Okay, when this king feels like they've been slighted in any way, they they will just jump on you, okay? They will say off with your head and then uh, maybe regret it later, but that's kind of what I'm feeling from this king. This could either be you, Scorpio, because you guys are co-ruled by Mars, which is a very fiery planet. Or, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, okay? Okay, the next card is Eight of Swords. <sighs> okay, I just felt this really heavy feeling, okay? We've got the Glyph for Gemini right here, and Jupiter, okay? So, big communication. Possibly a massive argument is what I want to say because Jupiter the planet as it goes it's it's benefic but even if it's a benefic planet if it's tied to something that might be malefic or even just trickster in nature it can blow things out of proportion um oh I just noticed my little angel is a little bit chipped that's sad Anyway, um, I picked this stone right here because this stone is a it's, a, it's a protective and a healing stone. It helps to protect your crown chakra. So, you guys might want to think about carrying amethyst with you if you, if you have it and or wearing deep purple. Just as a way to like sort of keep that chakra balanced and protected, okay? And I'm also noticing this person is covering their eye and even their third eye, okay? Sorry, I didn't realize the camera wasn't doing what I needed it to do, but yeah. This guy looks like, okay. There is a possibility that this is a relationship that you have your head in the sand about, okay? Like, you don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. Whatever this is. I'm getting, you don't want to believe that this person would do something like this to you or somebody that you love or something like that okay um and it has you it has you going back and forth in your head a lot 
uh, yeah, you could be saying, well, you know, it's okay. Whatever they did was okay because of this. What they did was not okay because of this. But, you know, in their defense, but it was very unjustified and rash, you know, and on and on and on until you're just going around in this sort of like spiral in your own mind, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm getting from this card. <laughs> that was kind of a lot, guys. And um, swords are air, if I forgot to mention this. Um, I'm also hearing circular reasoning. Um, somebody might just want to go rounds and rounds in an argument and you you don't really want to engage with it. Like it's not, you feel like it's not your problem and it probably isn't. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this person isn't necessarily being trapped by the swords, okay? They could probably just back up and walk away from the situation if necessary. But, you know, it's, it's always up, it's always up to, it's always up to, uh, always up to you, right? You get, you, you get to live your life on your terms. Nobody gets to dictate that for you. Um, the last card we have, and here we have the Glyph for Jupiter again, okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So, no matter what's going on around us, Scorpio, the wheel in the sky just keeps on turning, right? <laughs> Life goes on. Um, think, you know, seasons change. Uh, people change. Um, I'm really getting this big big feeling of change and you guys have Uranus opposing you right now in Taurus your opposite sign so yeah you guys might be feeling hard-pressed to make changes in your own life and quite honestly I think that's what you need to focus on sorry there's a truck going by I think you guys should focus on your own life, okay? Focus on what you need to get done. Um, use this time for yourself because the world can wait, Scorpio. All right, as always, I am wishing you the very best. Um, I love your faces. I will talk to you later. Bye.